Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, but I do have a special guest on today's show. And guys, this is... The Wall Twins. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And, and I'm are, Tommy. And, and we are, are the Wall Twins. Twins and Tommy in the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. However, Gallery Backyard Barbecue today in the Backyard Diner. In the right. Backyard <laughs> Diner. In, in Florida, oh, by the way. Oh, by the right. way. So oh, that's going to Disney this yeah. humidity. Is. So, so, so it is the Wall Twins today and uh, Mickey Mouse tomorrow. <laughs> That's there right, you exactly. Go. You should see if he can come film with us this week. Yeah, <laughs> there, there you go, there you go. go. So look, today's show is definitely gonna be special. In a, uh, in a few moments, I'm gonna bring on a book by these guys. I am featured on one of the recipes yes. in the book. So that is definitely a, uh, that is pretty special to me. So we are gonna take a look at the book, look at the recipe, and of course, I am talking about the Molly, Molly Smash. All right, guys, so look, here is the book. There is gonna be 60 some odd recipes in this book, 30 smash burger recipes, and of course, page 24 is the Molly Smash Burger. Boom. That's right, even a whole thing about Tommy in there. Tommy gave us, graciously gave us permission to put his recipe in our cookbook, and we were honored. So man, we had to get it in there. I appreciate that, yeah. Mon. And even more honored that he's here to show us how it's done. There you go. <laughs> so look, let's turn our attention right now to the griddle, and let's get started. So look, the first thing I wanna do is let me tell you a little bit about how I got this recipe. I do believe, and this was about three and a half, four years ago, I uh, was out to dinner with my wife and there was a uh, steak, uh, brown sugar infused steak on the, uh, on the menu and I didn't order it, but it definitely, it definitely you know, got to me thinking and I went home and did some research on uh, using brown sugar in a, uh, in a, on a protein in a recipe. And uh, I've never tried the steak, but I thought it would, it, it just sounded so good on a burger. So basically what I did is I, uh, I got the uh, brown sugar together, all the ingredients together, uh, put it on the burger, made the burger. And as I was eating the burger in the kitchen, my uh, dog Molly, Black Lab, was looking at me. And as I was going to take a bite of the burger, she kind of tilted her head. If I could find the video, I'll put, I'll put the video clip up. And uh, it was at that point I said, this is a Molly Smash Burger. So, so that's basically how I came up on Ooh, this. Uh, great story. Yeah, yeah. I love it. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So that's basically how I, I came up on, on the Molly Smash Burger. And I call it my own. Because, yeah, of course. You, exactly. know, you got it, man. I haven't uh, seen it anywhere else or heard of it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Correct. And, it, and, and it wasn't planned like, hey, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a, a burger and call it a Molly Smash Burger. Right. It just came. It just, right. it just happened that way. So, so that's basically how I came up with the Molly Smash Burger, and I guess you guys had latched onto it one time yeah. yep. and and made it on your channel. We correct, and, we did, uh, and loved it. Yes, right? we did. It, yep. It, it, you know, if people think it's just ah, brown sugar infused burger. It's going to be too sweet. It's a right? game and changer, is what it is. Yep. It's, it's not that way at all. It's correct. my wife's favorite Smash Burger. This and then like a mushroom Swiss, but that's why she's we're yeah. making one for her because she's yeah, that yeah. excited with about mushrooms. It, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm otherwise gonna, we're going to go pretty simple today, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we are going to keep it simple today. I've made Molly Smash Burgers in a, in a barbecue uh, Smash Burger. Mm -hmm. uh, I've made them all kinds of ways, and sometimes the simple on a burger is the best. It is burger, agreed, yes. right? So, so today what we are going to do is uh, the mushrooms. Okay, so this is going to be a Molly Mushroom Smash Burger, and of course, send the hate because I got to use American cheese. Yep. So look, I've got the griddle all set up. I am gonna work over here. We are about 450 and we are off over here. Okay? So I'll, I'll, most of my cooking is gonna be done right here. Will it be toasted buns? Are you gonna uh, toast the buns on this one? You know one? what? If, sometimes I toast them, sometimes I don't. It right. depends on if they're fresh. It depends on these where I am. Fresh. Yeah, it depends okay. on where I am with the cook. Okay. What I wanna do now is let me get these mushrooms on. Perfect. And yeah. then we will uh, figure that out. Perfect. Cool. Let's do it. Let's get okay, work. so oil, oil down. Okay, we'll get the uh, mushrooms on. You don't have to do all of them too. Oh shit, okay. To. Yeah, they are a lot of mushrooms. It's a lot mm -hmm. of mushrooms. <laughs> I got a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> Seems like I do you Florida big on the mushrooms? Uh, no, <laughs> so we're about uh, uh, 400 here. Yep, uh -huh. So usually I'll, I'll go with the mushrooms. That's gonna bring the uh, that's going to bring the temperature of the griddle down, sure. right? Because mm -hmm. it's going to it's going to absorb some of that heat, and then I'll hit it with a little butter, okay? And we'll get the butter in there. We'll get the butter mixed up. Okay. 
and you can see the uh, heat automatically slows down on the uh, griddle. I'm going to work yep. your uh, cool thing here, and there goes the butter now. So we'll just get these mushrooms going here, and I'll bring you guys back in a few. All right, so look, we've been going for about four or five minutes on these mushrooms. At this point, what I'm going to do, hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Flip them around. And Smells move good. Them to the side. Now we are off on these two zones right here, so we're probably with some carryover heat. We're probably still in the 250 to 300 range, so these mushrooms will do perfect over there. Okay. All right, so look, I got the mushrooms over there. Let me bring in the wall twins. They will toast yes. over these buns. That's, That's right. We're good at it. We're good with there the buns. Go. And I'll come over here on the uh, on the smash burgers, and I'll get the uh, uh, the brown sugar all ready, and we will go to town. All right, Perfect. sounds good. Uh, so basically, when I do these, uh, you've got the three ounce to five ounce loosely packed patties. We've got these salt and peppered up already. You can salt and pepper them up now, or you can salt and pepper them up after you drop them. So when you take your patties, You're only looking for, if you can get 50% coverage on the, uh, on, on the brown sugar, uh -huh. that's all you really need. Sure. I, I think some people think you got to cover it all, and that it's really not the case. I think what I want to do is I am going to get covers like that. Let's do them all up, and then we will get them all on the griddle at the same time. All righty, so look, once you get the uh, brown sugar, if you take a look down here, a lot of it will get sucked up by the moisture, so a lot of it will disappear. But we are probably anywhere bet between 50 and 75% coverage. Let's get the uh, smash burgers on and let's get to smash it. There you go. go. First thing we'll do here, we are about 500 griddle surface, which is perfect. Now, if you're uncomfortable with that type of heat, you can go down to 450. Whoa. Get that oil spot. Get that oil down. spot. So basically what we do, and this is going to go quick, this is, the, uh, this is the beauty about any smash burger, especially the Molly smash, and you'll see the, uh, you're actually going to see the brown sugar doing its magic. That is the uh, cool thing about the Molly smash. And I've got my guys on, uh, I've got my guys on Kitchen standby. Duty. That's right. <laughs> duty on cheese. There I'm on going. cheese duty. So now once you put the, uh, um, the smash burger loosely packed balls down, you can let them sit there for, for a couple minutes. You don't have to smash them right away. Mm -hmm. They can sit there for a few minutes, do its thing, and you can see, see the brown sugar kind of doing its yep. thing. Yep, yeah. caramelizing that's, right there. That's, yeah. Exactly, that's the uh, magic. So once these are sat for a, uh, a, few, a few, you know, 20 seconds or so, we will get to smashing. Now the, the thing with the uh, smash burgers is you do want to try to hold it for 10 seconds. I've got a lot here on the griddle, so we are just going to bypass that and wing it and go a little bit less than 10 seconds. Yep. And you do want to try to get a nice firm smash. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice, and I'm going to show you how to tell when the uh, smash burgers are done. You got enough room there with that yeah, smasher? Yeah, we're, we're squeezed. I think we need a bigger boat. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'll probably need another paper. Right. Paper, paper, yeah. yeah. Swap the papers out. Yeah. You can toss that one over here on the plate here. Okay. All right, gotcha. There you go. All right, thanks. This is my uh, kitchen help. That's right. It's hard to get good it. help. That's why we make the big bucks here. Yeah. So again, when you know when you're cooking for a large group of people, although you are supposed to hold for 10 seconds, it's not 100% necessary. Yep. Go okay, ahead. I got you. Got that. All right. So look, I wanted to jump in here. If you see over here, you see the bubbles coming through, and you could see some coloring on the end. That's when you know it is time to flip. And you see the uh, cheer. You can see the brown sugar. I should say the uh, sear and you can see the brown sugar. Now, if they fall apart like that, that is all good, man. So we know over here is finished, because again, you can see a little bit coming through over here. These just went on, so there'll be a couple more seconds. Also, the front of the grid isn't as hot down in that yeah. area. Yeah, so. okay, so you got a little bit of a cooler zone. Yep. yep. So let me jump, sorry. Let me you're jump good, you're over good. Here. 
and that is good. Now you may think that looks burnt or crispy, but te I'm telling you, that, that is caramelized the, uh, yeah. brown sugar. The Meyer reaction, thing. yes. Now once you flip them, that is beautiful. Once you flip them, you cheese them up, man. They are good to go. Yep. And you can see we are cooking it all. Some are pushed down a little bit harder, so we're cooking a little bit better. The cheese will hold that together. There you go. And it always, uh, four hands is always better than uh, two. <laughs> exactly right. So basically once the cheese melts, and it doesn't take long for the cheese to melt, you just stack them. Now you could do this two ways. If you were doing, uh, uh, we're just going mushrooms, but if you were doing onions or something, you can uh, you can put them on now, or you can put them on uh, on the roll. I'm just going to pile the mushrooms on some of them now. You know, make backyard griddling fun. Yes, that's the most important part. A lot of it, even though we do this all the time, a lot of it is winging too, right? You just gotta you you cook by feel. We're yep. gonna get over here and plate up. these up. And these are uh, these are looking good. Yeah, aren't they? Oh, looking yeah. amazing! <laughs> I bet the cat, I bet these look so good on the screen right now. Yeah, yeah. Scoop these out of the way. There you go. That one right there. Oh and yeah. And then the last one right. Oh, yeah. Yep, right there. <laughs> there you go. Look at those! Look at that! Yeah. That looks amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> and if you got a couple uh, mushrooms left over, no big deal. Just oh, pile them on. No. Just <laughs> stop it, Tommy. Yeah. You are so naughty. There you go, man. And that right there is a, a couple mushroom molly smash brothers. Oh, we love man, it. That looks amazing. It. Guys, so look, that there is the molly smash. Let's go in for that taste test and close it out. That's right. Well, we're in the gallery back, or we're not in the gallery you're backyard not, diner. We're, we're in the backyard diner. This is how we do it. Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely yeah, amazing. It looks amazing. amazing. Look like, at that. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, brethren, can oh I get God, a smell? smell yes. Yeah? Smell, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> can. Now, if it doesn't taste amazing, then this is no, all no, for no, naught. I'm going back to Jersey. That's right. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. My brothers. Mm. That's why it's oh one of the best. Own. You gotta wow. be kidding me. You gotta taste the Molly Smash to know the Molly Smash. Yeah, you do. You have to. You have to try this one. The brown sugar mm. takes it to the Through next the top. level. This is so amazing. Mm. My goodness gracious. You would think, mm. again, I, I, I gotta say, for the, for the viewers that have not tried the Molly Smash, you would think that the brown sugar just overpowers it. It is just not the Correct. Case. So good. Yeah. I want a burger like that every time. I mm -hmm. want a burger like that every time. That is seriously one of our all-time favorites, and this one's better than the last one, I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. I mean, it, that's the best part. It always gets better. Because cool. it was made by the man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the man made it. All the Molly Smashes are good. What I want to do is I want to close out the show now. I've got a link right to Amazon. You got to pick up this book. Like I said, over 60 recipes, 30 smash burger right. recipes. Pick up the book, link down below. So look, why don't we do this? Yeah. Okay. One lucky viewer, uh -huh. comment down below, hashtag wall twins gallery BBQ. Ooh. We'll get one signed copy of the book. There Done. You go. So you'll Done. choose a random winner. I'll Anybody choose, that does I'll it. I'll choose a random winner off Perfect. this uh, off this video. I love I'll it. send the uh, whoever wins. I'll send you guys the address. And we'll send a personalized autographed copy to you. There you go. Perfect. There we go, Perfect. man. Love it. So look, let's close out this show now. Again, I'm going to double close it because I'm going to close it my way because this is my video. That's right. My brothers. name is Tommy. These are the Wall Twins. And I am the Gallery BBQ. Those are the Wall Twins. Tune in. Check them out. And until next time, we will see you soon. soon.